We'll guide you through how to add overlays in OBS. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Here we are in OBS, and so you're looking to install and add some different overlays to go and improve the streaming experience and make it better for your viewers. So to go and get started with this, we can actually go and use a website. So what you want to do is go and head to the link in the description or the pinned comment. That will bring you to overlays.uno. A big thank you to Uno for sponsoring this video. On Uno, there are loads of different overlays we can go and use, and we'll be guiding you through it in this video. So what we can do is head to the top right and go and sign up for an account if you're yet to have one, or you can go and log in. After you successfully logged in, we can get started. Quickly though, if you've already heard of Uno, I just want to go through some of the new features. If you've just found out about it with this video, you'll still be useful to know them. One of the great new features is color presets. You can go and select from preset color palettes or by signing up for an Uno Plus account, users can edit specific colors. We can go and change the color of output URLs. There are now more display variants within some Uno overlays. More Uno UIs have been added and there's also affiliate links as well, which is really useful. Uno love having suggestions and feedback as well. So at the bottom here, you can go and tap on the Discord icon to join their Discord server. But let's get started. So what we can do is go and press new overlay like so, and we can get started with choosing an overlay we want. There are so many to go and choose from here. So what you can do is go over to the left and you can start seeing the different categories, the different themes. For example, let's say you wanted a countdown for your stream. We could go and click here and you can then go and choose a design you like. There are loads to go and choose from. I quite like this bottom one here. So I'm going to go and click on it. We can then press add to my overlays like so. It's now going to be added to the home screen here. What you can do is press the three dots and you can go and press open. At the top, we'll get a quick walk through here. So there you can go and grab the output URL. We can get to the settings. We can add the control URL to use it on another computer, mobile or tablet. And we can also go and get the API there as well. So for example, here I can go and set the amount of time. Then you can press customize and go and change all these different things here to your liking. And then we've got settings as well. Now, what I want to do is go and get this into OBS. Let's go and open up OBS. I'm going to go and create a new scene for it. I'll press the plus and name this countdown. I'll press OK. What you can do is drag and drop from copy output URL straight into sources in OBS and go and press yes. And then it's going to go and be added, as you can see. And then from the control here, we can go and press play and the countdown will go and begin, as you can see. We can then go and reset it or go and pause it if needed. What we can also do is add the control panel into OBS itself. If we press docs and then press custom browser docs, you can come and return to Uno, press copy control URL at the top, and we can then go and add it into the URL here, right click and press paste. You can go and press apply and it'll then go and open up. And then what I could do is go and have this on another monitor and I can go and be able to control it, or you can just go and keep using the Uno website. Now let's go and add another. So what we can do is come and return here. We can press new overlay in the top left. For this next one, I found a social media pop I want. So I can go and click on it like so, and we can then press add to my overlays. And we've now added it. Go and hover over it and press the three dots in the bottom right. And we can go and press open. Now what we can do is go and start editing it. To go and get started here, we can go and add in our different socials. Delete any you don't want. And then what we can do is go to set up at the top here and we can go when it's repeated and the loop as well. Then what you can do is go and click customize. We can go and choose the color palette and these other things. And of course there are more settings as well. Now let's go and add this into OBS. So what we can do is we can go and simply drag and drop it in. What I'm just gonna do here is go and make a new scene. Of course, I could go and add my webcam, etc. And then what we can do is drag and drop the copy output URL into sources, press yes and we've now gone and added it. See in the top right, it's now playing. As you can see, of course you can go and resize it and you can move it to where you need to as well. I also want to go and add in this one here so I can go and click on it, then press add to my overlays and we can then go and press the three dots in the bottom right of it, press open and we can go and customize it. I've entered in some text and we can press customize and we can go and choose the color palette. I'll go for aqua for example, then we can go and change more settings if we want to. And what we can do is then go and drag and drop it into OBS by dragging on the copy output URL in like so and press yes. And you can then go and see it's now going to go and appear there. What you can do is go and turn it off if you don't need it or go and keep it turned on. Of course, you go and add this and dock it into OBS as well. I hope you found this useful. If you did, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.